So I gotta leave like some pathways for them to get in. Yeah, okay. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna sell some of this stuff, I think. Can, can I delete? How do I sell? Delete F. The hedges must go. But that's okay. I was wondering why they didn't seem to be doing anything over here. That's also probably why a lot of the bunnies weren't coming through here. So now this place is gonna get real cleaned out. Let's um what about my nails? Chrissy did my nails. We have matching nails. We got, it, it's black, kind of a sparkly black, and then uh, sparkly silver on the uh, on the offset nail. I've never, I've never uh, really painted my nails before, other than I think when I was like a really little kid, my cousins um, and I painted our nails together when I was like, you know, five or something like that. I'm lucky that my parents, or at least my mom, didn't have any hangups on that kind of stuff. Um, so like, when I was a kid, I played with Barbies. I did, you know, was able to paint my nails. I had a, a doll, like a Cabbage Patch doll that I carried around everywhere. His name was Ramsey. Um, and uh, no joke, that stuff, you know, from my research in psychology, what I learned is that exposure to that kind of stuff when you're young, um, nurturing toys, as we call them, uh, has a lot of really good benefits. And uh, for both, uh, or for, for all genders of kids, and uh, while we tend to separate that out and say these are girls toys and these are boys toys, um, if you let all kids play with all toys, it's just better. Like they just get better, you know, cause um, dolls and pro social toys like Barbies and stuff like that, they promote learning social skills and caring about others and whatnot. And then um, boy toys, uh, often are like kind of engineering focused or visual spatial focused. And uh, so that helps with like some kind of like being able to manipulate stuff in 3D space and being able to, um, you know, do well with those kinds of things. It's pretty good. So anyway, if, uh, if your kids, regardless of what gender they are assigned, if they want to play with dolls, let them play with dolls. If they want to play with Legos, let them play with Legos. If they want to play with G.I. Joes, let them play with G.I. Joes. At the end of the day, it's going to help them because um, play is how kids really learn. And I got to play a lot as a kid. I was I was very fortunate. And so uh, it helped. Uh, all right. Let's buy a new butterfly. I want to get a great coin bot because I'm leaving so many coins down here and so many coins. So let's get that little guy. I think that's going to help me out. And then we'll uh, we'll be able to actually buy some other stuff. Oh, my gosh. This is such a cute little game. I love it. All right. Now that we got this little garden area. All set out, you know, our uh, our uh, cleany bots, they'll deal with that. I'm going to come over here and uh, let's start working on this stuff. Have you ever tried Sword of Ditto? Um, I played it a little bit back when it came out at PAX, and I never played it after it came out, actually. I should check it out. It's been a long, long time, actually. Don't let him play with mommy and daddy's toys, though. Well, that's, yeah. Uh, Realm says, I never played with girls' toys, but I was always strongly attracted to female companionship and becoming more feminine because I was transgender as a child. I learned to accept my gender as I grew older, but yeah, that's, and that's tough. That's tough. That's why it's important to, like, kind of be open with your kids and kind of um, let them lead you uh, in certain things, right? Don't, don't enforce something on your child just because you think it should. Like, think it through, right? If you're ch especially if your child's distressed about something. Like, pay attention. Why are they distressed? Listen to them. Don't dismiss someone just because they're little. You know? They'll, uh, they'll appreciate you a lot more if you, uh, if you listen. Do -do -do -do. And honestly, Relner, that's another thing. You, you might not have known, they might not have known. It's tough. And that's why you just got to like let it be kind of... Ultimately, don't challenge your child when they want to challenge like a gender role, right? Like, you know, for example, you know, if your boy child wants to wear a dress, that's fine. Let them wear a dress. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do. They ain't hurting nobody. They're just expressing themselves. Do, 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 do. And also, you know, the gender thing. You, just don't, you don't need to, like, focus on gender so much. All right? Just focus on a good, close relationship with your kids. Caring about them. Caring for them. Certainly not. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Purple vegan, bro. Not wrong. Not wrong. <laughs> 
Though I think, you know, we could we could make arguments about that was more appropriate at the time. But I get I get your point. I get the point you're making. Price on earthing my family issues at 6 a.m. with children toys talk. Daisy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it brought some stuff up, but no, that I'm here for you. I'm here for you. I'm on your side, okay? Um Let's see. Fire, I always recall the time my dad fought the desire to knock my cousin's ex-husband out because he threw an absolute hissy fit over the fact we got her boy a toy kitchen. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Ridiculous. I had it. I, I, uh, my, my cousins, um, had a toy kitchen and I loved whenever I would go over to their place. Cause you know, we would go back and forth between each other's houses. I loved playing with like their kitchens to all their toys. It was so much fun. Cause it was like getting to go to a whole new world. It's like, look at all this stuff. So we would play little kitchen stuff, doing all the chefs, cutting the food and everything. Cause I think, you know, I think my mom recognized it. Like, look, if your kids are having fun, why stop them from having fun? Right. As long as they're not hurting anybody. I mean, goodness knows, <laughs> whenever we weren't playing with toys, we were doing dangerous stuff. Like, we were, like, breaking our bones, jumping off of stuff, you know? I'd much rather have my kid playing with chef toys than jumping off of something and hurting themselves, you know? Um, and uh, my, uh, my nephew right now, he has a little uh, chef set kind of deal, and it's so cute when he plays with it. He loves it, and, like, it makes him kind of interested when his dad's cooking or when his mom's cooking. Uh, it's it's really cute. It's really cute. Let's get some barrels over here. Why not? Yeah, that's cute. Let's get another barrel over here, maybe. Drop that like that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, that's cool. And then how much are all these... Uh... Ooh, we can almost get the well. I'll put the well maybe, like, right there. I think that'll be a good spot for the well. What the heck is wrong with a toy kitchen? Yeah, it's because a lot of people gender, you know, um, like, uh, jobs. Oh, gosh. Phone, stop listening. Um, FBI's on to me. Uh, a lot of people gender, like, jobs and roles, and so then they say, like, oh, well, you can't have kids playing with that because then they're going to want that job when they're older, and then that means that they're going to be doing the wrong job for their gender. It's weird. It's weird. I, I've, as an adult, it, it's one of those things where it's like, I think that the only reason that that stuff really exists is because people are holding on to old views, but they're not thinking about it. They're not, they're not challenging their views. You should always question where your views come from when it, when you're directly challenging someone on like what they're doing, right? It's like, you shouldn't do that. Think about why, where does that should come from? Is it based on some real data, on some real reasons? Or is it, you know, just something you've been holding on to and you didn't realize it? You know? Let's see. You have two boy cousins you grew up with. You're a girl. I didn't learn to play basketball, football, carpet hockey. I didn't play with my cousins. That's rough. That's rough. Let's see. Uh, lol, in my household, I do all the cooking, so glad I learned how to cook from my mom and dad. Yeah, Benny, see, like, and, uh, you know, maybe that's another thing, you know, I always, I'm one of those people I like to analyze, right? With, um, have we gotten any new bunnies? I haven't even been checking. No, okay, we're good. <laughs> um, is, like, when I was growing up, my mom was always more of the, like, she'll, she could, like, fix something that's broken. She did stuff that was more considered, like, traditionally masculine, you know? But my mom's a very feminine woman. She wears dresses. She's very cutesy and all that kind of stuff. But she also, you know, would, you know, fix your car kind of thing, right? Uh, so, like, I think that also gave me a good model of, like, someone who can be both feminine and masculine at the same time and uh i think yeah that kind of i mean essentially role androgyny is actually really good it's very good so that's why i always it get, i get weirded out when people get hung up on gender stuff like it just doesn't make any sense to me like why you why you bothered by other people being happy why you bothered by other people living their lives it's bonkers especially when those same people then turn around and say like you know something about like freedom um gingerbread <gasps> oh you're so cute gingerbread look at you <gasps> oh you're like dapple but brown that's so cute i love these little designs gingerbread hanging out with mocha or is that not mocha because you got you're all brown i think that's mocha is that mocha yeah so cute so cute 
Yeah, Flicuda, you see, you get it. You know. Oh, let's do the rotate. No, wrong way. What? Try the other way. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make. Let's get some. Uh, let's get those pumpkins, cause now we got so many little dudes. Uh, price oddly relevant with downtown today. What's going on downtown? What am I missing? Cause I, cause I'm, I'm out of, I'm out of town. But price, if I don't know what's in their pants, then I won't know how to dehumanize and devalue them. I know, right, Teo? Goodness, goodness. Just leave people alone. Like my, that, that's the big thing for me is that like a lot of the people who do that, they'll then go around and preach like freedom, freedom, freedom. And it's like, well, you're telling people that they can't be free to be you. Um, like you don't get to preach freedom and then tell people how to live their lives. Just doesn't make any sense. Sorry. One or the other. Oh, there's big old protests. That makes sense. That makes sense. And, uh, you know, I stand on the side of people being allowed to be who they are stand on the side of protecting people who are marginalized so whatever's going on that's that's where i'm at because I, I mean i've seen some of the stuff that's going on across the country which is oof, yikers ah <laughs> brenner <laughs> Uh, I can't preach freedom the first time I played Ark with you. I put you in a cage. It's true. Brenner and I played Ark. He knocked me out and he threw me in a cage. <laughs> Messed up, man. Messed up. Hi, hi, hi. Drive by squeeing. Heading out soon. Later, Lodrilai. Isn't this game cute? Isn't it so cute? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that, Brenner. That's hilarious. Uh, all right. I need to get another cleanup bot, man. Get out there, man. We got pumpkins now. All right. Y'all, I'm digging this game. This is so, it's such a nice thing for us to just chill and talk while playing this one. I love it. Good times back when Ark was a thing. Yeah. I actually recently, I was thinking of trying to maybe get Chrissy to play some Ark with me and see if she'd like it. That could be something that the two of us could play together, maybe. But I'd have to heavily mod it because, like, I do still think that that game is just incredibly too time consuming by uh by default even if you crank everything up to the max default settings i'm like no no no. i need like broken settings for that game let's see daisy says what they say freedom are limited to people who are aligned with their expectation of normal it's crazy when people are so easily threatened by others challenging their normalcy i think that what that says is that they or they don't recognize but that kind of fear response that kind of like knee jerk like no you can't be like this is i think because in a way they're insecure in their views they don't have the confidence in their views that they wish they had and so any small challenge could destroy it because they don't actually have a confidence to it uh, if you're judging someone by what is in their pants, as Teo says, there'd be a lot of problems with people who need support for standing as a different gender than their actual... Yeah, and Relner, that's that was the joke. That was the... Teo was telling a joke. Um, uh, being sarcastic. Because, yeah, no, we, we all fully agree that that's ridiculous to judge someone by their, um, their genitals. Uh, Mimiko, uh, when I was younger, some of my male classmates talked about Soul Calibur, so I joined because I love the game, and they were like, what? But you're a girl. I know, right? That whole, like, what? You're a girl that plays games? Oh, okay, Relner. I wasn't sure if you were not, you know? Sometimes people don't get the sarcasm over the internet, so I'm like, ugh. Just want to be sure everybody's clear and, and cool on stuff. You got it. You got it. You just wanted to point that out for YouTube land. Hey, good call. Good call. Everyone know... Pricey is on the side of all genders. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 That needs a sarcastic font or something. Wouldn't that be nice if there was a sarcastic font? That's a good idea. A universal language for sarcasm uh, when it comes to fonts. That's actually a really good idea. Like the slash S. That should, that should have like a, maybe it should, yeah, it, the black rose, it should do that. If you do slash S, it should immediately put it into the, you know, capitals, under, capitals, under, capital, under. I think that would be so good. <laughs> or maybe a sarcasm Evo. Exactly. Uh, let's see. I had the exact same thing happen when I was learning ballet as a boy. They were saying things like, but you're a boy. You can't dance ballet. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Like... 
Here, here's something that I would say if someone were to challenge, you know, a boy doing ballet. Um, when uh, a lot of football players, a lot of big, burly football players have been told to go take ballet to help them with their coordination. Um, and so you'll see these huge seven foot, 300 pound dudes doing ballet because that it is a great way to learn that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it, it's it's interesting to see that. And that's and I love seeing that because, you know, for the people who have this whole masculine feminine dichotomy view to see what I would believe that they would herald as the most masculine men doing ballet in order to make themselves better at their masculine sport. Um, I think it really challenges that gender norm. I love seeing that kind of stuff. Anything that challenges gender norms, you know? Which is why I love, you know, that's why I did my hair with the purple and stuff. It's why, you know, with the nails. I'm like, anything I can do, just a little thing to challenge the gender norms, you know? Um, I'm on board. There's a font called Aerial Sarcasm. It's italics the wrong way. That's great. I love that. Also, like, Barishnikov. No, exactly. Like, there are so many uh, famous... Uh, people who challenge these views and people don't recognize how um, they don't recognize how that challenges their whole view, you know? Yeah, you could like, they'll be a fan of Barishnikov and then tell their kid they can't be into ballet. Like, it's just like, what? What are you talking about? One of the best music videos I've ever seen is a male ballet dancer dancing to take me to church. Nice. Do, 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 do. Let's see. A little boy I was teaching figure skating to asked me if any boys do figure skating. I got to point out to our junior nationalist who's a boy that was on the ice at the time. Awesome. Greater cleanup butterfly. Yeah, you know, we got one and I think we should get another one. I think you're right. We have three greater cleanup butterflies now. Good suggestion. Good suggestion. Right, Fry? Right? Only girls could do dance, but they can only dance with people of different genders than themselves. But boys can't dance. But they have to... It's like, what are you talking about? Have you had a chance to see Billy... Oh, I love Billy Porter. Billy Porter, are you kidding? I am such a Billy Porter fan. Uh, so Lily says, have you had a chance to see Billy Porter's outfits for events lately? He said he's free of masculinity structures and he's just wearing the wildest great... I love Billy Porter's outfits on red carpets i hope to one day be able to wear such a fabulous like tuxedo dress combo oh oh so on board daisy low 180 biddies for the day's great start have a good stream y'all thank you daisy thank you so much yeah billy porter straight up fire exactly elena exactly all right, I need to start spreading some of this food out. I'm realizing that the, the bunnies are all clustering together, and I don't want that. So we're going to move a couple of these food plots out to the uh, out to the uh, the nature preserve area, as I'm going to call it for now. Do, 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 do. So let's get these guys spread now a little bit, huh? Yeah, Billy Porter's an actor. Um... He has been on, I know him from, I, I was first introduced to him on um, American Horror Story. Um, he's been in a couple of other things. He's in a movie that's coming out soon or just came out. Um, oh, what is it called? With Tiffany Haddish. Um, oh, someone's going to know. Someone's going to know. And he's in, he looked, I think he's in that one. Um, I know I've seen him in a preview for something. I think it's that movie. Um, Mother of all things, that tuxedo dress is fire. I know, right? Oh, gosh, what is that movie called? Because it's them, and they're they're working together. Uh, girl bosses? Like a boss? Elena, it might be like a boss. It might be like a boss. Something like that. Something like that. Like a boss. That might be it. I think he's in that trailer, right? Because I think he's the guy who's, like, worked with them for forever, and then, like, in the trailer, it suggests, like, they're, like, having to, like, leave him behind kind of thing. Um, oh. That looks funny. It looks really funny. And yeah, Billy Porter. It is just looked at his wiki. Nice. Yeah, everybody go look up Billy Porter stuff if you want to see just like radical gender nonconformity. And I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, what's his name? Ezra. Is it Ezra? The guy who um, is the Flash. He does that a lot too. Where he'll, he'll wear very um, gender challenging. Ezra Miller. Thank you, Lily Integer. Yes, same deal. 
Wears a lot of very gender challenging clothing. I love it. Ezra is they them. Oh, my apologies. I did not know that. Um, so they uh, do that. Really cool. Really cool stuff. You were just thinking the same thing? Yeah. All right. All right, we're at six grand now. Oh, our cute is so high. Look at our cute. We're doing great on cute. Let's get some more cozy going, huh? I think I need to expand now. I think they want me to expand. Uh, an old favorite band of mine, Mariana's Trench. Uh, the leader, the lead singer is super, super androgynous. Nice. Very cool. I always, uh, yeah, I think any, any androgyny is a, a great thing. What do we got here? 5,000 for an expansion. Let's do it. Because I also think getting an expansion probably will help us to attract new, uh, new buns. All right. What else can we do? We're going to leave this like it is. Ooh. Progress has just been saved. Had a big little little, little spike there. Oh, you know what? We're at uh, we're at about two hours on the recording, so I'm just gonna um, quickly put a cut in here. So later, YouTube. See you in a second. <laughs>